Hello everyone, my name is Atish and here I am with a new learning video on rules for finding particular integral. First of all, I would like to tell you what particular integral is. Next, for what type of differential equations we have to find particular integral. Next, why to find particular integral and how to find particular integral that we will discuss in this learning video. In the last learning video, we have learned two different types of higher order linear differential equations, namely homogeneous and non-homogeneous. Particular integrals are basically found for non-homogeneous type of higher order linear differential equations. So without much ado, let us see what is particular integral? The particular integral pi is an abbreviation for it. So, for the differential equation of the form f of d into y is equal to x, then 1 upon f of d into x is called as particular integral and we write it as pi is equal to 1 upon f of d into x. Now let us see the rule number one. If the right hand side of the differential equation is a function of x to be precise e to the power ax where a is any constant then rule number one says pi is equal to 1 upon f of d e to the power ax and put d is equal to a where what is a? a is a coefficient of x. So pi is equal to 1 upon f of a into e to the power ax. Now we have two possibilities. f of a may be equal to 0, may not be equal to 0. If f of a is not equal to 0, then we are through and this would be our final particular integral. If in case f of a equal to 0, then the above case fails and we have to apply the case of failure. And the case of failure says multiply numerator by x, differentiate denominator with respect to d into function as it is. Now if you look at this 1 upon f dash of d to the power ax, this is again a pure problem of rule number 1. So again we have to substitute d is equal to a. So again we will be getting 1 upon f dash of a e to the power x. So if f dash of a not equal to 0, this would be our final pi. If this f dash of a equal to 0, then again we have to apply case of failure and so on. So before we start with the examples, I would suggest you to recollect the rules of CF because here we have non-homogeneous differential equations. So we must know the rules for CF as well as PI in order to write its complete solution. So let us take an example number one. <coughs> Solve d square minus 5d plus 6 operating on y is equal to e to the power 4x. As you can see, the right hand side is a function of x and the problem is of solve. So here we have to find complementary function cf as well as particular integral pi. So to find complementary function, write down its auxiliary equation by putting d is equal to m, find out the roots by on your own or with the help of calculator. So we are getting root as 2 and 3. So what is Cf? C1 e to the power 2x plus C2 e to the power 3x. Next is Pi and we are very much interested in it. So what is Pi? 1 upon d square minus 5d plus 6 into e to the power 4x. So, rule number 1 says put d is equal to 
coefficient of x. What is coefficient of x? 4. So put d is equal to 4. The moment we put d is equal to 4, we get 1 upon 4 square minus 5 into 4 plus 6, that is 2, e to the power 4x. As you can see, we got non-zero value in the denominator. So this would be our pi. And after getting cf and pi, try to write down its complete solution as y is equal to cf plus pi. And don't forget to write where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Now let us take another example. So this is different kind of example. Find particular integral of d square plus 4d plus 4 operating on y is equal to 7. As the question is of find particular integral, so no need to waste your time in finding out complementary function. So write down the given differential equation and what is pi? 1 upon d square plus 4d plus 4 into 7. Now case number 1 is for e to the power something. So I am writing 7 as 7 into 1. In the next step, I am writing 1 as e to the power 0x. Now this is a pure example of rule number 1. So rule number 1 says put d is equal to 0 because here the coefficient of x is 0. Okay. So pi is equal to when you substitute you will be getting 1 by 4 into 7 e to the power 0x. That is 7 by 4 e to the power 0 is 1. This is the required particular integral. Now let us take another kind of example. So the question is solved. d cube minus 5d square plus 7d minus 3 operating on y is equal to e to the power 2x into sine of hx. Okay. Now the problem is of solve. So you have to find particular integral as well as complementary function. And as you all are smart enough to write down complementary function. So I am skipping this cf. Now let us see how to find pi. That is very interesting now. So pi is equal to 1 upon d cube minus 5d square plus 7d minus 3 into e to the power 2x into sine hx. Now, as you all know that rule 1 is applicable for e to the power something. So, we have to convert this sine hyperbolic function in terms of e. And we have the sine formula for sine hyperbolic that is sine hx is equal to e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by 2. So, when you substitute, you will get this. Okay. Now, I am taking this 1 by 2 outside operating e to the power 2x to e to the power x and e to the power minus x will get e to the power 3x minus e to the power x. Now separating these e to the power 3x and e to the power x will get this. Now I am writing this pi as pi1 where pi1 is this plus pi2 where pi2 is this. Now for the sake of simplicity, I am going to solve pi1 separately and pi2 separately and after finding pi1 and pi2 I will be putting the values in equation a to get pi. Now pi1 is this so rule number one says put d is equal to a what is a here 3 so when you put d is equal to 3 what we get we get denominator in the we get 0 in the denominator. So, case fails. So, apply case of failure. Multiply numerator by x. Differentiate denominator with respect to d function as it is. Again, substitute d is equal to 3. So, we will be getting 4 in the denominator. So, 1 by 2 x by 4 into e to the power 3x. Now, after finding pi1, I am going to find out pi2. What is pi2? This. And we are going to put here d is equal to a, what is A? 1. So when you put 1, we'll get 0 in the denominator. So case fails. Apply case of failure. Multiply numerator by x. Differentiate denominator with respect to D into right hand side as it is. Then again substitute D is equal to 1. Again we are getting 0. Again apply the case of failure. 
again substitute d is equal to 1 so we'll get this so the pi2 is x square by 8 into e to the power x now putting the values of pi1 and pi2 in equation a we get this pi okay so after finding cf and pi write down the final solution that is y is equal to cf plus pi and don't forget to write where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constant c1 c2 and c3 now i would like to quote the best statement about mathematics that is the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics so as you can see the three problems on the screen for practice so you can try these examples and you can ask your queries if any and one remark i will be taking rule number two in the very next learning video thank you for watching this video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you